Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley. And I'm Gus. If you listen to podcasts or watch your favorite streamers, you know, well, that, that are not us here at Rooster Teeth, chances are they've asked you to support them via Patreon. But is it about to get way more expensive to do that? Short answer, yes. Long answer, also yes. Uh, the company recently announced that it's gonna be charging a fee for every creator you support, and that's worrying a lot of people who make a living being creative. Well, also people who like to pay the people to be creative. Uh, Patreon says it's doing this to help creators make more money. But on uh, the other hand there, uh, lots of Patreon supporters immediately revolted and started canceling their pledges, which led to a lot of creators making less money and asking, what the fuck, Patreon? Okay, let's get into some background first about what happened. Patreon is probably the most popular crowdfunding platform for artists and creatives. It's allowed a lot of people to support themselves with non-traditional work, like playing video games online, for instance. Hey, and to fund itself, Patreon currently takes a fee of 5% from each pledge. Uh, and uh, creators also have to pay fees charged by payment processors like Stripe or PayPal. But all that is gonna soon change. Starting on December 18th, patrons will have to start paying 2.9% plus 35 cents for each individual now, pledge. And 35 cents, no matter what your pledge is. So right. Obviously that's a very big change. Why? Well, according to the service, Patreon says it's to let creators keep more money. Uh, they say that uh, in the past, the creator's income on Patreon varied because of processing fees every month. They could lose anywhere from 7 to 15% of their earnings to these fees. This means creators actually took home a lower percentage of pledges than their patrons may have realized. Patreon said they're making this change as part of needing to constantly evaluate our processes. As we work to deliver bigger and better features for creators and patrons in 2018, we felt like sooner than later made sense to put this change into effect. They also wrote, this restructuring allows creators to take home a greater portion of their earnings, which is core to our mission of getting creators paid. But this looks like a situation where Patreon might have fixed something that wasn't broken, because this announcement sparked a gigantic backlash, not only from supporters, but also from creators who are now pissed that the extra fees will drive away their supporters. And that they'll make less money, which is, Theoretically, the exact opposite of what this was supposed to do. A lot of creators have gone off on Patreon and severely criticized the new fee structure. Lazy Game Reviewers posted a screenshot of a lot of their supporters complaining about the fees alongside a tweet that said, seriously, this is a boneheaded move, Patreon. Cut the crap. And a lot of creators who don't necessarily make big bucks were really upset with this too. It's also a really big concern for people who have a lot of supporters who pledge just a few bucks. Yeah, since the fee is charged on a per pledge basis, it's gonna affect pledgers who give small amounts to many creators way more than it does to people who give uh, one or two creators a lot of money every month. So want an example? If you give $10 to one creator, you'll see your payment rise to $10.64. So, you know, uh, like, that doesn't seem the worst. Right, but let's say that you give just $1 to 10 separate creators, that goes up a lot more. You'll see your payment increase to $13.79. And there's the rub. That's got a lot of people concerned that they'll lose their $1 to $5 pledges, which end up being the bulk of most Patreon's source. It's that 35 cent fee you were talking yeah. about, it adds up. Uh, the dating advice giver, Dr. Nerdlove tweeted, hey, Patreon, I was just fine with paying the fees. This new fee structure is going to cost me my $1 and $5 patrons who make up the bulk of my support. And the comics writer, Ryan North, tweeted a list of people who'd cut off support because of the new fees. He tweeted, hey Patreon, this is just today and just the first page. I don't blame anyone who has to leave. You joined to support me and you did until they made it untenable. Thank you for supporting me for as long as you could. Not everyone was down on the news though. We reached out to Danny O'Dwyer, the gaming journalist who runs the YouTube channel Noclip, which is almost entirely funded by Patreon. He told- And does awesome work, by the way. If you haven't checked out Noclip's uh, mini documentaries, they are available on YouTube and they're fantastic. And he told us, as a creator, what's most important to me is that our patrons feel like their contributions matter and that we reward them for their generosity. Obviously, creators like me will benefit from the lower fees we are expected to pay. Noclip will retain an extra five to 6% of our funding a month from these changes. So it's up to us to make sure that our patrons don't feel hard done by. But he added, ultimately, whatever plans Patreon have for the platform is out of our control. That's the sort of thing you can see when you're a small media outlet like us, but I'm more optimistic than most. From what I've gathered, this is part of a wider change to their charging structure that will have added benefits down the road. Perhaps I'm blindly optimistic, but then you sort of have to be to run a media business entirely on a crowdfunding platform. O'Dwyer did say that he had a concern. He told us, I think the biggest casualty from these changes will be smaller creators and those who encourage pledges under $3 as a sort of tip jar. I think that's a shame as one of the great things about this platform is how patrons tend to fund both large, established creators and smaller, lesser known ones. I guess we'll have to see how it shakes out. Meanwhile, there is already a change.org petition of course, up asking there is. for Patreon to drop the external service charge. And this has just started. This 
this is like a like an overnight thing pretty much, but it's already got 5,000 signatures. So that the, tells you something. The petition, it tells you that 5,000 people signed it. Yep. <laughs> the petition says, this is a fixed rate per contribution that eats worst into the smallest donations, especially at the $1 level, which are vital to many creators' business models. It is further likely to put the smallest donors off becoming Patreon patrons, making life difficult in turn for many of the low paid creators who Patreon works with. And one response to that petition might uh, sum up how a lot of supporters are feeling. Adam Buckley of Richmond, Kentucky wrote, I supported a few artists at $1 a month because I'm poor and that's really all I can do. If that jumps up to $1.40 a pledge, I'm gonna have to drop some pledges. That's just how it is. I can't afford it. Most, if not all the creators I follow on Twitter are expressing disdain for this policy. And Gadget reached out to Patreon who responded, we think endlessly about the creator and patron impact for every decision we make. After running tests with both creators and patrons, we settled on a fee that would impact creators and patrons in the smallest way possible, considering both the amount that patrons pledge and the likelihood that they'll keep supporting their creators on Patreon. Yeah, so we're gonna see what happens in the long run. Patreon seems to be thinking that um, down the road, that creators will make more money off of this, but short term, a lot of them are losing a lot of the people who've been supporting them for, for months or years at these smaller amounts. I mean, it kind of looks like Patreon's got a big crisis on its hands in that short term, because while it may generally be trying to make things better for creators, there's no denying it sparked a huge backlash that is maybe possibly gonna encourage creators to move to a rival surface like Drip that was just started by Kickstarter as a competitor to Patreon. Mm. Uh, and if the internet has taught us anything, it's that if people lose faith in your service, there are always others that are happy to take their business. Like Drip. All right, so what do you guys think about Patreon's new fees? Are there creators that you've been supporting that it's gonna be tough for you, for you to continue doing? Are you a creator yourself that's affected? Let us know in the comments. And for all your crowdfunding news, be sure to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know. Oh my God. I just don't know that I can face all of the effort yeah. for what's in our like, I'll get the shit out of the pomegranate seeds, but do I really wanna go through that effort right now? Do I wanna look like I have a murder in my kitchen? No. Cut it in half, put it in water, and smack it with a spoon. That actually works, yeah, yeah amazingly well. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, it's like a breeze. Yeah, super easy.